Hello, it's Behaving Beardly, and we're back with another streamer's DIY, and I have no idea what I'm going to call this one. Um, basically, if you've watched my previous videos, more specifically the one um, where you can create um, commands where your viewers can type in commands and trigger alerts and scene changes and things like that. Um, obviously, you needed a third-party piece of software. Um, you need to put loads of sources on your PC, like media sources. Uh, it can use up a lot of resources. Um, we've got a new system that can basically... Uh, it's all done via a browser source, basically. So no need for third-party software. No need to have the media on your PC. It can change scenes for you. And probably the best bit about it all is you can actually incorporate it with your Twitch channel point redemptions. So your viewers can use their Twitch channel points to redeem a scene change or a, a random overlay alert to pop up on your stream and, and things like that. Um, it'll make more sense as we go through, um, but let's let's get straight into it. I'm going to be as quick as possible um, today, so let's go. So to start off with, here we are. I am showing you this in OBS Studio. Um, I normally show you all this in Streamlabs, but um, let me explain. I'm basically recording off Streamlabs today. And also, um, you can use Streamlabs OBS to have um, viewers type in chat to have animations and alerts play. Um, and you can even use the Twitch integration for the points, but you can't have it change scenes. You will need to use OBS Studio so viewers can type something in chat and change a scene because you do need to download and install an OBS WebSocket. And before we get going, quick shout out to Rene Chiquette. Um, he told me about this system, which is called Trigger Fire. I think um, I should maybe learn the name before I start trying to um, um, before I start trying to say what it's called. Uh, Trigger Fire. It is brilliant. So anyway, what we are going to do first of all is we are going to click on the link that I will put in the description below, which is basically the dashboard for Trigger Fire, just so I can quickly show you that. Um, I've probably got this open already. Yeah. So here we go. This is you can upload your videos here. So these are the videos that will play on stream. There's images, videos, and sound, and we'll talk about OBS in a little bit. So that's just the dashboard. Um, we'll we'll look at that in a second. Um, but I'll put another, all the links will be in the video description. But we are, first of all, going to need to add, add the widget to stream elements. Now, if you don't need, if you don't use stream elements, uh, the first time you open this, it will ask you to sync your Twitch. Sorry, it will also do the same with this website. You do need to sign in with Twitch. So again, click on the link in the description for the stream elements widget. Um, this will pop up. There we go. Um, you, again, you'll have to link your Twitch. Once you've done that, um, it's, it'll be under my overlays. And this is what it looks like. It's called Trigger Fire by the Firewire. There we go. Um, I've already got mine set up here. So this will be the one that you click on. Uh, I'll click on the one I've already got. You want to click on the pencil underneath it, basically, which takes you to the editor. And what we want is this link here. Now, this link is the browser source that you'll be putting into your OBS. So just click on the copy, go into your OBS, um, right-click if you're in OBS Studio, click on the little plus at the top here. If you're in Streamlabs, we're going to add a browser source. Uh, browser source, we'll just call this test. Okay. Oh, name is already in use. Oopsie. Um, we'll call it test2 then. There we go. We're going to paste the link in here. We're going to put 1920 by 1080, so it's full screen, but that's entirely up to you. And then click OK. Uh, let me get rid of that other one. Brilliant. So um, that browser source is now um, in your, your OBS and ready to go. The next thing we're going to need to do is make sure that the... Trigger fire is linked to your um, stream elements. So in order to do that, go back to the trigger fire website. So I've got so many windows open. Click on the 
pink button behind me there. Just click on that. And here we've got a widget token. So again, click copy. Go back to your stream elements. And you're going to paste that. Um, sorry, go to the right one. So we come back here. Just click anywhere on the green screen. Click on global options. Uh, no, it's not global options. Where is Oh, sorry, widget token there. Click on widget token and then just paste that in there. Make sure that you click save. And that's all you need to do for now for the alerts to work uh, and everything that will work on Streamlabs OBS. We'll cover the um, WebSocket plugin in just a moment. So now, obviously, all you'll need to do is go back to Trigger Fire. So if you click on the blue button behind me, sorry, that side, you can add a new video. Um, so we'll call this test. Um, in fact, we'll call it um, hello because I think I've already got a test. You choose who can use a command. Choose the specific user cooldown. Um, you can choose a global cooldown, which means when someone uses this command, nobody else can use it for this amount of time. The time is in seconds. You will select a video. You can click here to upload a new video. Um, I, for now, will use... Um, let's have a look. Not that one. Where are they all? Let's, where's Rough Gaming's um, new semi-pro? There it is. We'll use that one. So we'll tick that. That's uploaded that there now. We can click on save. Brilliant. Now, once you've done that, you can go to your OBS to make sure it's all working. Make sure you're on the scene that's got the browser source. If you Obviously, you can paste this onto as many scenes as you want. I'll bring up my text, or my chat, sorry. What would they call it? Hello? I'll type hello in chat. Press enter. And there it is. Semi Pro Bra. Now you couldn't hear that because um I split all my audio and I didn't add a audio source for it. Um if you do want to know how to separate all your audio like I have, um just to use an example. Um here's my main scene. I've got my music, my browser, my stream deck, Discord, game, um, various different you can see them all here. Um I've done a video on how to do that uh, in this same playlist um so i did mention that we'd talk about how to get the twitch point integration trigger these alerts and scene changes as well in order to do that um again come back in here uh, either use one of your existing ones or or add a new one by clicking on the blue plus you can click on the pencil to edit them and um, there's a little blue box here you can click on that and type in the reward name now, if you don't know, um, can I bring up my Twitch without showing you? Um, yes, I can. Here we go. Here we go. So if I go to my points now, uh, manage rewards. So here we go. I've got one called the 300. So um, you got to make sure that you it's case sensitive and it's it's typed the exact same, basically. So I just come in here, copy it. And then uh, paste it in. There we go. So when now when someone type sorry um so now when someone redeems the three hundred if I um it will play this alert basically now what you can do is allow command as well um so it will use that command and the redemption or you can just type that in so it only uses a redemption and then just click save and that's how simple that section is um so I'm gonna go straight into the OBS side of things um if you are just using Streamlabs. That's everything. It's that easy. It's that quick. If you have found this video helpful, please do hit that subscribe button. Obviously, we're desperately trying to get to the 1,000 subscriber mark. It would be very much appreciated. If you are on OBS Studio, we can also use this system to change scenes. So someone can either use a Twitch points redemption or a chat command to make you change scenes and then change back to the scene you was already on or just switch scenes altogether. In order to do that, you are going to have to download the um, WebSocket plugin, which I'm just looking for now. There it is. I'll put the link in the video description, obviously. Um, but it's just a GitHub link. Here we go. Um, the full installation um, directions are here. If you scroll down, but just double click on the Windows installer and just follow the instructions, basically. Get that installed. 
I'd normally do a quick um, shutdown or restart of OBS Studio just to make sure it's working correctly. But once you've done that, you can then go back to um, your um, trigger fire dashboard, click on OBS. We will have to connect to OBS. Um, so I think it defaults at localhost 4444. If you want to find these details in your OBS, just click on Tools, go to WebSocket Server Settings, and there you go. There's the 4444. And if Enable authentication, authentication is not is ticked, if there's a tick there, basically, um, you will need to enter the password on the website. If it's not ticked, you don't need a password. Um, but that's that's entirely up to you. So there you go. Just click on Connect to OBS. OBS is connected. Um, and then you can, again, click on the blue plus down here to add a new command. And we'll call this hello again. And in fact, no, we won't because that will cause problems. I don't know. Boo. It's boo now. So again, you can click on the blue box and make this a Twitch point integration um, scene change or a command. Choose who can use it. Put in your cooldowns. And here are the details. So we can either um, have it change scene or source, make it visible, then non-visible. Um, just we'll do a scene for now. So what we'll do is we'll make it change to a scene for five seconds and then change back. Or you can just make it switch scenes altogether. But for now, we'll make it change, then change back. All your scenes will be listed in here. So we'll click on gym cam. If they're not, again, just kind of close everything down and refresh. Um, because I had that issue. I, I couldn't get it to show my scenes and once I reset everything, it was okay. So it's going to change scene for five seconds and then switch back. You can just click test, um, but we'll do it properly. So I'll save. If I go back into my OBS, we'll go back to the blank scene. There we go. And if I bring up my chat again, there it is. Um, we called it boot. So I'll type boot. It's changed scene. And after five seconds, it will change back. There we go. Um, again, just a very quick little bit of troubleshooting. Um, I hope you're still here if you've been watching for the Streamlabs stuff um, because we will... I forgot to mention this earlier. If you have any issues where alerts don't show up or anything like that, if you come back to your stream elements and um, before you ever leave this page or continue to do anything else, click on the Save button down here. Um, always, always click the Save button whenever you change anything. There is various different options down the left-hand side. So basically how the animation kind of enters or exits the scene and things like that. And if there's any issues, click on Refresh Widget. And then again, make sure you click the Save button. That's about it. If I've missed anything or if I've, I've kind of tried to get through this as quickly as possible, I'm trying to do it in one take. If you've got any questions, best thing I can actually suggest is join our Discord, the Rough Club. We have a content creators section in there um, where people can ask questions. And you can you can join our Discord and, and have all alerts turned off um, for the free streamers that run it. There's myself, Larry IRL, and Rough Gaming. But we do share all our resources, ideas, and things like that. And it's by far the quickest way to get a response. Um, but do feel free to drop a question in the YouTube comments. I always do answer. Sometimes it can take up to 12 hours because I don't get the ping. But um, no, guys, as I say, I am a Twitch streamer. I stream every Tuesday, Thursday, and Sunday. Again, I would really appreciate um, any subscriptions to the YouTube um, or even just like the video. It's hugely appreciated. Appreciated? It would really help me out. Um, but no, that's me getting this as done as quick as possible because it's currently 5 in the morning and I'm going to try and get some sleep. So anyway, my name is um, Jimmy. This is Behaving Beardly. If you haven't enjoyed yourselves, Stick with it. It will grow on you. Bye. Bye-bye.